Greetings everyone and welcome to another WIST technology tutorial. In today's lesson I'm going to be looking at working with Google Classroom on the iPad. So on the right hand side I have an assignment uh, that the teacher, this is the teacher account, the teacher is asking uh, their students to uh, verbally introduce themselves uh, in French and then upload their audio file to Google Classroom. So I have an iPad here with a student account signed in and I can see I have an upcoming assignment which is this one right here. So the thing I want to demonstrate with this video is that you can actually use other apps on your iPad to attach files to Google Classroom assignments. So to complete this assignment I'm actually first going to go to a different app and then I'm going to show you how you can attach that audio file from that application to Google Classroom then return to Google Classroom to turn the assignment in. So here we go. The app that we're going to use to complete this is something called Quick Voice. It's located right here. Um, it's a very simple voice memo uh, recording software. Very easy to use. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce myself uh, for my French assignment. Bonjour, je m'appelle Richard. Je suis américain. Je travaille à la Washington International School. J'ai trois enfants. J'aime bien travailler avec la technologie. Okay. So I have just introduced myself in a recording. And now I want to get this recording into my assignment here for my teacher. I want to turn it in via Google Classroom. So the first thing I'm going to do is obviously make sure I'm happy with my recording. I could play it back and listen to it, record it again if I wanted to. Let's just say I'm happy with this. I'm going to click this little share button at the bottom. And one of my options uh, that appears, there's a little delay I see in my mirroring of my iPad, but here we go. One of my options that appears is the Google Classroom icon. If you don't see this here, there's a more button that appears, um, not this one, uh, but there's another more button that kind of shows once my screen catches up. Let's see if I can push it forward. Oh, we're getting a little bit of a delay again. Oh, here we go. So you can actually activate the classroom share button here. So let's say I've, I've done that already and it appears right here. When I click this classroom button, it's going to um, ask me which account I want to use. This is student 10. This is a demo account. And it's going to scan all of the available current assignments for student 10 um, because it doesn't know exactly which one you want to share it with. So at this point, there's a default assignment here at the top, uh, Google Classroom in My Classroom. I actually need to find the French introduction assignment. So if I click this arrow right here, it's going to give me a list of all the possible assignments that this could be attached to. So I'm going to go ahead and attach it to the French introduction one. And then I click the attach button in the upper right. And once the app, once it closes and goes back to like my recording screen, that's indicating to me that the file successfully uploaded and attached to my assignment in Google Classroom. However, it is not telling me that I've turned it in. Now that my assignment has successfully attached and uploaded uh, to Google Classroom, I have to return to the Classroom app to actually turn this in. So I'm going to click the Home button, uh, go back to Google Classroom, go into my assignment, and if I click the Your Work button, it's going to see that my recording has attached and then I just click the turn in button to submit the assignment to my teacher.
and we should see over here two have been completed. So there you have it. So in short, this was an example of how you can use other apps on your iPad to submit or rather attach um, files to a Google Classroom assignment and then return to Classroom to actually turn it in. Thanks for watching. Bye.